Hey everybody, uh, Carl here, and uh, I just wanted to show you a little situation that I ran into while I was uh, working with some molds. Now you can see I have a caddy here from Reservoir Dogs, and one of the things I want to do is in static I wanted to have this figure sitting inside the car. Well, come to find out, this figure is not exactly 1 18th. At least the his scale does not exactly match uh, the 1 18th uh, scale of the car. Now this guy here, I made him, I did some things a little bit different with him uh, because I wanted him to go in the car, but as you can see, he, even after cutting him off the waist and everything, he would not fit. Now, uh, when you take the, uh, the guy that came with the car and the way they did it, I mean, he looks pretty good next to the car. You know, I mean, yeah, he could be in scale because he's not inside and that, and so it looked, he's close, but uh, not close enough. And if you notice here, I changed the head when I did this one. I, I did several molds. I, I put the head more straight so it would be looking straight out from the car. Well, this guy's head was kind of turned a little bit, and uh, and then I, I changed his arm. I cut and I redid the arm so his arm would be like going towards the steering wheel. With well, this one here, it was way down, which wouldn't have worked. But anyway, and I, I did this kind of rough. I, I painted it in, and uh, you know it was basically I did this basically to show you guys some of the techniques you can use for doing this kind of stuff, and. Uh, and it didn't really work out exactly because I didn't do my homework. You know, I, I could have took measurements and stuff, like I said. And if, and if this was going to be like a real static deal for me, uh, then I would uh, be on it a little bit more. You know, I would make sure that everything fit right and it looked right and the scale was right. And you can do that by measurements. Now, I don't know how you would scale him down. I, I do know that if you take alginate, and let it sit out, it will shrink a bit. Now, would that be the answer? I might try that. I've still got the mold. Can I shrink it down enough to where it's not, you know, it won't be all just formed and, uh, and, and be too small, but maybe just be able to fit inside? I can give that a try. But, uh, like I said, you know, these are things that if you're going to use this sort of stuff and go through all the problems, and all the hassles of duplicating something, you might want to do your measurements and just kind of make sure they're right on. Okay, everybody, have a, have a great day. I will see you all later. Uh, bye for now.